Well, we out here today drilling one. Uh, we're already at 405 feet in the ground. Make about a gallon a minute. We're going to carry it to 500 feet. Just wanted to fire it up and uh, start this process of going deep. The reason for today's video is this is some of my camera stuff. I wanted to test the uh, new microphones that I've got. There's my chest mount. So I've got three different versions here. This one here is a like a stage performer's mic. It'll clip on my ear, put it right in front of my mouth. We're gonna test that one. Um, this is the adapter I needed to go to the phone since I film with my phone. Um, this is called a purple panda mic. That seems to be like the number one mic for people with GoPros. Um, you know, preliminary testing in my house, I really like the sound quality of this. I just don't know how good it's going to do with the rig overall. And then this one is the throat mic that like airplane pilots use in really loud environments. Preliminary test on this is kind of hard to hear me audibly, but we're going to see how much background noise this one cancels out. So not going to be my typical video today, but we are going to test these three microphones and I want you as the viewer to let me know in the comment section which one you prefer. That'll help me for, you know, future content creation. All right, let's get back to uh, blowing the hole. It's full of water right now, so we're going to blast out 600 gallons of water. I feel like I need to tape it to my face because it kind of like wobbles all over the place. Let me show you. Really, really close up, but this kind of like kind of falls all over the place. Man, you can see how bad my acne is. Uh, but I need like a piece of tape to hold this right here. I just don't know how good the audio is. It's all just a test.
So we're back at the truck and we're only using the microphone that is on the phone right now so this is the clarity of the regular typical microphone on my cell phone this was the performers mic that we were using what I learned on this is I need a piece of tape like right here to tape it to the side of my face because it, it tries to like wander out like this far away from my mouth just hanging on my ear because I got to wear glasses and all that it just needs to be taped to the face so that is the dilemma with that but we will see in the editing the quality of it based on the noise of the machine so now what we're gonna do is use this which seemed really good quality when I tested it in my home but we are probably one of the loudest environments to, to like try to film a YouTube video in on YouTube I, I have yet to see anybody with louder um, a, you know a more loud environment if you know and how you film you know if you're in a loud environment too if you've got any ideas please drop them in the comment section because this is a very very hard thing for me to do the bad thing is this I have to hold this to my face so we're gonna do a couple minutes recording with it clipped to like my collar and then another couple minutes I'm gonna record with me just holding it up to my face because essentially when I start wearing my hard hat I can take it and clip it on the brim you know of the hard hat like something like that but right now I still think that's gonna to be too far away from my face to pick up well this is the purple panda mic I'm holding it up right next to my mouth kind of curious. This is all like very interesting to me because this is something I've struggled with for about four years trying to find an audio source that can, you know, not pick up so much of what's around me but pick up exactly what I'm doing. So if I can formulate some sort of game plan where I can actually not have to hold this with one hand
it will seize the rod up in a heartbeat. The entire time you're doing this, it's essentially tightening every joint. Take the cap off, in the bucket, blow the threads clean, a little bit more grease. as much with it because I just don't think the audio of it's going to be that great but regardless it's kind of a weird video all, all the way around but um, you know, I, I just got to test this I don't even know if I'll post it probably will just for the content but you know it's probably not what y'all want to see but it's just some of the struggles that I have being a creator in this industry finding good audio ability to record good audio I'm sure now that I'm further away from the machine, it's so much better already, but this is not where I do my work. I do my work on the back of the machine. So, let's swap it out. All right. Throat mic, here we come. This is the most uncomfortable thing to wear, just FYI. Okay, this is the throat mic, and I'm sure by now you can already tell how much of an audible difference there is between the other mics and the one I'm wearing now. But the overall goal for the throat mic is to see if it can handle a loud environment. So we're going to get up here in the loudest possible environment there is, we're basically standing right behind an airplane propeller, it's super loud up here, I don't really know how well you can hear me, but this will be pretty cool, if it works, if it works, so just let me know in the comment section below what you think, alright, well, Let's see. How much time has left? Since I've hooked that drill right up, it's only been eight minutes. And we've got roughly four or five feet left. So we are about 460 feet in the ground at this point. And uh, we're still cutting 11 minute and 12 minute rods. All right. Well... I think I've got enough recorded on. <clears throat> I think I've got enough recorded on the throat mic. I don't want this audio to be so terrible that you're not going to listen to the remainder of it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop recording with this now.
Well, I'm sitting in the truck for this since it'll be better audio, but um, we're down 505 feet. Got the last foot to go. We're going to go ahead, uh, finish it up here, trip out. Um, Tom, the driller we're drilling for, he said that's the max budget, so he's not going any deeper than that. Probably still making gallon, gallon and a half a minute. It'll be enough for this couple. It's just two elderly people in the house. 1,400 gallons a day is going to be just fine for them. So that's how much a, a one gallon minute makes. It makes 1,400 gallons in a 24 hour period. So realistically, the average household, even with four or five people, only use about half that. So I think it'll be fine. They'll probably put a pump at 400 foot, call it a day. But we're going to go ahead and trip out. We got her all wrapped up, dug down, grouted. Looks like the grout's already settled some. Yeah. Not bad. They'll rake it in there. I don't want to get it on my boot. <laughs> uh, you want to take it, shovel out of You're trying to move it up, or at least let Tom I think it. it'll be fine. We'll let Tom, we'll let Tom deal with it. He's going to put a four before post in anyway. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Kind of weird, kind of different, but had to test the microphones. Figured I'd just take y'all along with me. We got an hour and 30 minute drive back to the shop. It's crazy. That's why I don't like drilling over here because we waste three hours on the road. But, <sighs> it is what it is. See y'all later.